Hello, fellow YouTubers. So, uh, there are a lot of videos out there on sort of showing you these World War II reflector gun sights. Um, this is a one-to-one -one scale, 3D print, which I got off of Thingiverse. Now, what they don't tell you is uh, how to make these. So they tell you how to sort of print it out, and that's all well and good, but they don't tell you how to make a working sight. And you'll see that this is a working sight, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a working site. You say, well, you know, uh, it's really cool. All these folks are showing me uh, they, that they made working sites in different scales. And by the way, you could scale this to any size you want, whether it's 50% or 25% or, or, or really small, you know, one ninth scale for your model aircraft. You can scale it down, and it's really easy to do. Uh, so what's the real trick to it? Well, there's, there's a couple of little hurdles you want to get past one of which is the glass. So you're going to get a reflective back uh, double image unless you use a certain type of glass uh, or acrylic. Now the glass is similar to teleprompter glass and teleprompter glass is actually very expensive. So I don't recommend doing that. So what is a um, good replacement for teleprompter glass? Uh, acrylic semi mirror glass the type they use for li the little two-way mirrors or, or I guess they call them two-way mirrors the sort of spy mirrors that they have in uh, you know some stores so that they can make sure that there are no shoplifters or whatever so anyway you can get that relatively cheap and then cut it to your specifications but the real question is how do you make the crosshairs and do all that stuff and that's surprisingly easy and there's a lot of ways to do it by the way now you're wondering uh is this a lens over here? I'm going to take this apart real quick so you can see a little bit better. So what we have here is, th this is acrylic, a piece of acrylic I got off of eBay. Dirt cheap. Now I had a thick piece of acrylic. This is about, uh, this, I think this is about an eighth or three sixteenths. This might be three sixteenths. Uh, I had a piece of acrylic over here, but I replaced it with glass to get better transmission and less um, ghosting, the double imaging effect. Uh, I still get it, so I haven't replaced this with the proper glass, with the proper acrylic, uh, but I will. Uh, this lens over here, I got this off of, I think it was AliExpress for $3. However, this is also acrylic lens, very cheap. Um, however, this lens, uh, the shipping made this cost about $11 in total. I 3D printed a, a ring for this that I made in Fusion so that it would fit perfect. I think this is a 50 milliliter, 50 millimeter lens and it's just a standard magnifier lens now to make this work and here here's what nobody's showing you and i don't know why they don't show you is it some kind of secret i don't know so anyway i put in some batteries over here uh which you can see and then of course i got a little switch which i'm going to flip on and oops I, is my switch bad i think my switch is bad i'm going to take this apart let me see if i can get the switch working there we go Okay, so you can see from there, you can see that. And then if I if I come down here, you can see if we look on the on the glass, you can see we've got the Thank you for bearing with me doing this one-handed is not easy. So as you can see, we have our our sight and we're looking and even in even against a bright sort of wall over here you can see it still works pretty good so the question is gee whiz how did he make this and the answer is it's really stupidly simple and this is what i'm going to show you here the here are the guts so besides using a, a standard little double a battery holder that i have here uh, i'm going to pull the whole thing out so you can see it what i did i'm oh i made a little holder thing yeah you know what it's i think it's the switch maybe it's i don't know I'll play with that later but I've got a little LED in here it's a little yellow LED and it's hooked up to a little switch and then here's the secret right it's this little guy it's this little template thing so what did I do how did I make this well I downloaded what looked like a standard this by the way this is the Revy which came off of the um, you know the ME 109 ME, the BF-109, sorry. <laughs> so many, so much anger in the comments section if I say ME. So it's the BF-109 uh, 
uh, aircraft of World War II. So what I did was uh, you go online and you could find, you know, a million different gun sight reticles, which is what this is. Uh, I went into my, my paint program. Uh, I made the negative of this and I printed it with my inkjet printer on a piece of clear plastic. Uh, and again, you can make this in any size you want. You know, this could be real big or real huge. And, and you can put it as low or as high as you want next to your uh, light source. My light source is a simple LED uh, with a resistor um, soldered to it. I mean, you don't get much simpler than this, folks. Uh, yeah, I made this. This is like a little 3D print thing that I made. Did I need to do that? No. Could I have cobbled it together with some cardboard and some tape? Yeah, absolutely. Um, here's another thing, too. So this, this reticle could be really tiny and you could just put it right next to the light source and project it straight up, which in real life is what they did. The reticle on the real one is really, really small and it's on a piece of glass. Uh, I don't know if they silk screened it onto the glass and done it. And I'm guessing it had to be on the glass because they had a really hot bulb. Obviously we're using an LED, which puts out like zero heat. So you don't have to worry about it melting your, your, your plastic reticle. But that's all this is, folks. It's this simple. This is so simple. And again, the tricky part is the this glass, right? You got to get the uh, the semi uh, silvered acrylic, which you can buy. And it's funny when you look for the glass. Um, you know, they tell you seventy slash thirty percent transmission rate would be like optimal, but you know, forty, sixty, or fifty, whatever, or 80, 80, 20, Who knows? Anyway. You can experiment around with that. Uh, I did not get the piece yet. Um, I was using a real piece of glass just to play with a real glass to see how a thinner piece of glass would work. And as you can see, I get a tiny amount of ghosting when this is in there. Slide this back in here. Goes in in one piece like this. And yeah. Could I have made this more compact using smaller batteries like triple A's? Absolutely. Could I make this like really tiny? Sure, absolutely. Could I, you know, uh, could I have it plugged into an external power source? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, there's a million and one things that you can do. The 3D print for this on Thingiverse is really, really great. And kudos to the person that made that. They deserve a lot of the credit. Could I have hooked up this switch so that it actually like worked as a switch? Yeah, yeah. And in the next version of this, I might just do that uh, this is a lot of fun and I was intrigued by seeing people with their model airplanes and they had working gun sets I was like wow how do they do that so I had looked into the original patents on the gun sites and said wow there's you know all this all these drawings and stuff um, and of course they used incandescent light bulbs and they used pieces of glass with the reticle on it and I thought well why did they do that well obviously for the heat because of the heat that the bulb put out you had to have glass you know, a piece of acetate or whatever it was that they would have used back then wouldn't have worked. Okay, so well, today we can use a little simple LED powered by a couple little batteries, which will last an incredibly long amount of time. And and this works, folks. Um, and again, it's super duper scalable. I could see using a couple of coin cells and shrinking this down to something super minute. Um, and this all just pops back together and this even has like a part that lifts up over here so uh, if I want I can glue this in place and then you know get to the battery thing and uh, and if I use the triple A's it'll be even smaller I could probably tuck it in there a little bit better um, and just make a one slide in piece module which I think is going to be the idea for the next version of this where the batteries and everything else are all connected and you just slide it in and lock it all up um, what do I use this for? Do I use it for video gaming? Eh, not really. It's just cool. I just think it's cool. <laughs> I thought, wow, this would be really cool to make. And thus, I have made it. Uh, it's bright. And again, it's very clear. You get this tiny amount of doubling, double... Uh, what do you call that? Ghosting? Yeah, you get a tiny amount of the ghosting. Not nearly as bad as using the super thick acrylic that I previously had on here. Uh, of course, we can hook up the sunshade as well. And if you want to put in, you know, uh, oh, by the way, how did I get the beveled edges? Yeah, I just hit it with a belt sander. That's all I did. And cutting the glass, this piece of glass came from like an old uh, diploma frame or something I had laying around that had a piece of broken glass in it, so I just cut it to shape. Um, 
yeah th again this is a 3d printed project so yeah uh and i hope you enjoyed this i hope this was informative and i hope this helps uh you and your next project if you decide to make one of these so you can make it work and 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 making it work uh makes it about for me it makes it about a hundred times uh more fun than having something that's just static that doesn't turn on that doesn't work so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you